Hello and welcome, this is Wilker and this is episode 4 of my Let's Play series. Thank you guys for watching. If you're new to the series, I have not done a Let's Play before, so um, I do of course appreciate any feedback. If you have watched me bumble through my first couple episodes, I appreciate it and uh, hopefully you guys are uh, having fun. So today my goal is a couple things. Um, I'm almost ready to move out of my hovel. Um, but uh, before I do that, I want to get my ore processed. I've got um, some power saved up in this furnace. And, uh, you know, I've got my uh, aqueous accumulator set up. But um, I'm not real excited about this setup. So I think since I'm moving, I'll go ahead and leave it. But uh, I did some thinking about it uh, this morning. And uh, there's a couple things I wish I'd done a little differently, but that's okay. We'll do a better job in the uh, in the permanent house when we get to it. So, uh, like I said, I want to get some um, I want to get some automated resource processing going on here. So the first thing we're going to need to do is just make some. I made some cobblestone transport pipes. Yes, perfect. So let's get these built. Perfect. And uh, I'm not too worried about um, the uh, induction smelter output because I won't use it that much. But um, just for the sake of having it completed, I will set it up there. Let's see. We got red going out to the side. It'll hold that there. Let's get this output done. There we go. Awesome. All right, so now that we got that kind of handled, um, oh, looks so we got some bonus silver here. So let's make this side output orange. Great. I'll smelt it. I'll spit it out the back. That's perfect. So let's get the rest of our dusts thrown in here. And see, like, for example, I really wish I'd run the power underneath these so that I can... Uh, Maybe throw a uh, um, oh my gosh, I'm losing my mind. A uh, <laughs> I want to say a funnel. It's not a funnel. A hopper. My gosh, like if there a hopper on top of uh, my pulverizer or on top of my powered furnace, but it'll be okay, I guess. Um, so here, let's move some of our processed stuff into this. And we'll throw our copper into there. How are we doing on power? We're going to need to crank these guys up. Fine. Throw another coal in you. Another coal in you. Great. Um, obviously, one of the things we want to get done when we move is uh, build some redstone cells so we can have some buffer for all this electricity that we're making. But, like I said, in the meantime, you know what? I am going to move these. It's driving me crazy. Let's see. Do I have any conduit left? Maybe not. So what do we got here? We got this. Um, okay, no problem. Oh, I wonder if I even have the resources to make a... Let's see. Iron. This is why resource management is important. Because, my goodness, this is just a mess. I'm going to get some iron smelting here. Let's see. And the other thing I'm going to need is some gold. So let's get... There's all those bricks I made. Those can be from here. Hmm. I thought I had a bunch of gold. Where did it go? Let's see here. There we 
go. I'm going to run out of electricity here because my engines haven't quite gotten warmed up yet. There they go. Probably grab some more coal. Fuel. Alright. Yeah, what I'd like to do is um let's just do this for now. It's a little bit wasteful, but that's okay. So we'll let that cook up. I'm going to actually let, uh, let's see here, let these cook up in here too. That way this can finish what it's doing. I can throw my stack of iron in there. Let's see. You know what? If I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this the right way. So let's just go grab some more water. Oh, you know what I haven't done is checked on my farms lately. How they doing? Hey, they're doing pretty good. Get some more carrots. I guess I should make some gates. Oh wow, that's real annoying. Wow, look at that bear. It's a big mama. All right, so let's uh, get back inside here. Oh, I need to eat. Let's see here. I did harvest some uh, wheat earlier and some bread out of it. I really just don't have any space here, but that's okay. So uh, what do we want to do here? We want to want to move this uh, aqueous accumulator to back here. Bears annoying. All right, so what we need to do here now is uh, check the 
this out. Oops, one too many. That's okay. So now, ta-da, we've got it all flipped around, which is great. And because I moved the uh, levers, I to turn this back on, which is no problem. Perfect. And that let our uh, steam engines, oh look, they didn't lose their steam, great. Oh, they did a little bit, but they'll heat back up here in a second. So this is perfect. What's going on here? Uh, the copper is still working its way out. Oh, yeah, these ran out of power. I'm not sure two of these little steam engines is enough to run these machines, but that's okay. But I guess we're going to move. Okay, we're going to have to go deal with this bear. Mr. Bear, hi. Sweet. some more of this finished product and we decided we wanted to go ahead and make a hopper right uh, now I have cobblestone right there it is okay it's a sad day when you're out of cobblestone um, and you know what, actually, I think I want two of these. Which also means we're going to need a little bit more iron, which I think that should be what's cooking up right now, right? Yes, great. Um, let's see here. And we're going to need two chests. Three iron in there. I think I have a little bit more iron. No, I don't. I guess I don't at all. Come on, iron. You can do it. Wow, I should have made those gold pipes. That's okay. Alright, so let's get our hoppers made. Oops. Great. So now... input on top of these guys. Yeah, this is great. Alright, so we can throw all this stuff in there. Now we're making progress towards being a real Minecrafter. Go us. Silver War. I don't care about that, really. Alright. Remember, I said I do have um, both uh, RP2 silver and uh, I think that's the RP2 silver and the thermal expansion silver. So they're both doing their thing. And I've actually never done this before. I wonder if it's going to just confuse the heck out of itself because uh, it looks like our power is holding up okay, which is nice. Um, I wonder if it's just going to confuse the heck out of itself because it's got a bunch of inputs. So we'll see. Go ahead and put a bunch of coal on these and let them run. I'm very happy with how uh, turning this around turned out. You know, it's um, it's not perfect, but it is uh, a lot better than how it was. 
All right, so let's uh, clean up the mess I made here a little bit. And we can move on about our day. Oops. Great. All right, this is a very high-tech hovel. It's raining and it's night time. Let's get the dirt filled back up. And, uh, I did add a couple mods to the game. Um, I added Xeno's Reliquary. And the reason, the specific reason I added Xeno's Reliquary was so um, I could kill werewolves. So one of the items we're going to be going for before too long is uh, a cross of mercy. But, um, you know, it takes some glowstone, so we're going to have to get to the nether before too long and get some glowstone. Uh, I will tell you one of the things that um, I do do on my SMP world is that once people uh, are ready for Mistcraft, I do generate creative mode notebooks for them. And the reason I do that is because uh, the symbol learning system is not great, um, and the Mistcraft team knows that they're working on it. And on top of that, the, uh, when you have a ton of dimensions made that people have made just to learn symbols, which, you know, can be a hundred plus dimensions for some people, it just lags a server. Uh, you know, those dimensions have to be loaded into memory, and, um, like, we use a RAM, a RAM drive to run this server, and it, you know, just requires the RAM drive to be bigger and do more swapping. And it's just not, it's not necessary, so... Uh, be prepared that eventually when, uh, when we are ready for Meshcraft we're probably going to do some uh, some cheating with uh, a creative mode notebook alright, I need to get a bed made because this hanging out waiting for night time is a mess so let's see, what do we got here hmm. we do not have anywhere close to it I'm not going hunting at night, so instead, I will be right back. Uh, I'm gonna let this uh, rain stop and let it turn to daytime. Uh, I'm going to go mine for a little bit while it's raining. You know what? Something I had completely forgotten about was our cool ravine. So let's go check this place out and see what there is to see down here. We're still on a hunt for... Oh, wait. A little bit too far away to tell, but I think I see some diamonds. And I hope so. I'm real tired of uh, using a block breaker to get obsidian. <laughs> so we're going to shoot over here. One of the things that I uh, am always a big fan of doing is getting pushed off of a uh, that's much better. Alright. No, just silver. I've been trolled. That's okay. Let's we'll see what's going on up here. So somebody told me that uh, mining all my um, Thomcraft crystals is a bad idea because it ruins the aura in my chunk, and that uh, when all the aura transfers is when you get all the bad effects and stuff. And uh, I always thought you needed a lot of crystals to do research, uh, but I guess I've been doing it wrong. So even though I haven't quite started on that yet, um, it looks like uh, I can hold off on getting too many uh, Thomcraft crystals now that I have a few to work with. Wow, that's a pretty good iron deposit. Nice. Grab this redstone. Alright. Let's go see what else is going on in this guy. So we've got two choices here. You know what? Let's just... I don't need all this lava.
I don't know, maybe it's because uh, I'm not a super, like, experienced hardcore Minecrafter, but I still get excited. Uh-oh. Behind the waterfall. Now that is great news right there. Hooray. Oh, wow. Let's not get pushed under the lava. Three diamonds, not too bad. Oh! Four. Five. Six, that's outstanding. We are now tech two. <laughs> For all you E fans out there. Alright, keep rolling. See, I knew checking out this uh, ravine would be a great idea. Let's go see what else there is to get. I'll come back and mine these uh, um, little deposits of stuff off camera. I just uh, don't want to bore you guys too much. I do want to grab that, though. Yes. I think I'm going to have to replace this pick. Oh, goodness gracious. That's why you never mine straight down, folks. It's a real good way to fall into lava and die horribly. Unless you're into that kind of thing. See, these are the lavas. These are the kind of things that get me in trouble. I know you guys have only seen me die once, but just take my word for it. I'm really bad at this game, so. It's kind of cool. What's going on in here? Uh, expect to see me doing a lot of really dumb things. Am I the only one that at a distance thinks that every. Uh, Nicolite deposit is going to be diamonds, and then it gets real sad when it's not. I can't be the only one that that happens to. Oh, wow. That's kind of a cool little cave. Except for the beginning of it, which is just death. That looks like more silver way over there. Or maybe more Nicolite. Whatever it is, it wasn't a diamond. That's what we're in the hunt for. Because when I build my new house, even though uh, I probably won't use it for a ton of resource processing, what I do definitely want to do is get uh, a mining drill built. And that's going to require... Oh, did you guys hear that? Sounded like a werewolf. So, go ahead back this way, and uh, I'm going to do some mining off camera real quick, and then we'll go build a house. All right, so the rain has stopped, and uh, it just stopped, so there's still probably some, uh oh. Probably still some bad guys walking around. There's a mob we haven't seen yet. Um, I'm not really sure what W Wolf exactly is supposed to stand for, but they are not friendly. Oh, they're creeper, really. Wow. Uh oh. Alright. Yeah. Minecraft champion number one right here. Alright, so let's find. We really need a sheep or something that drops fur so we can get. This, uh, this bed made up. Oh, another wolf. So, uh, see how much scary... Oh, yes, some fur. That is great news. There's our last piece of wool. Outstanding. What's going on over here? We got an ostrich. A couple ostriches. Ostriches drop eggs, which you can uh, cook into uh, omelets, which is another food source that most creatures adds. But we're not going to mess with them for right now. Oh, this is cool. Look at this. A little lava pool. Some uh, beehives floating around. We'll have to come back and get those. Uh, you know, bees is another thing that just intimidates the heck out of me. And I thought, I don't think I'm the only one, but, um, you know. 
We'll try some bees here before too long also. But I know you need a ton of seed oil now, so that's another really good reason to get my uh, automated wheat farm going as soon as possible. All right. There's some uh, no creatures bees. Um, that was my four-year-old, if you guys heard him in the background. He's very cute. So what we need to do is find a good site for a house. So I'm going to do a little bit of exploring. Here's some more mo creatures, mobs, for you guys that haven't seen them before. Look, there's a baby deer and uh, a grown-up deer and some fireflies. Deers make real annoying sounds, by the way. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go scout a little bit and try to find a good house site. And I will be back. Look at this. Another werewolf. He almost killed me. I'm going to win this one, Mr. Wolf. Right. Let's see. They do drop iron tools. Look at that. So whoever uh, made that observation in my last video or in episode two was correct. All right. Well, I'll tell you what. This is starting to run a little bit long. Um, I'm still short a uh, piece of wool, but I will show you guys that little peak right there. I think what I'd like to do is clear that off and maybe build a house around that huge fir tree. Um, I think that would be kind of cool. Maybe like a, um, a cool staircase to go all the way up and different floors for different mod items. And um, that is what we'll get started doing next episode. So this is Wilker. Thank you so much for watching and hopefully we'll see you next time.